Since all of the protein assays that we're going to be discussing today are based on spectrophotometry, let's understand how that method works. Spectrophotometry is a method that allows us to measure how much light in a solution absorbs in a specific wavelength with the aid of a spectrophotometer. In a spectrophotometer, a beam of white light from a lamp goes through a diffraction grating that works like a prism, separating the light into its component wavelengths. Depending on the instrument setting, only a specific wavelength of light can pass the exit slit and get to the sample. The light then interacts with the sample and a detector located behind the sample measures the transmittance and absorbance of that sample. Transmittance refers to how much light passes directly through the sample without interference, while absorbance refers to how much light is absorbed by the sample, which is the unit that we use to estimate how much protein is present. To get accurate measurements from your spectrophotometer, you will need to use blank cuvettes before you start measuring the absorbance of your sample, as well as in between each one of those samples. A blank sample is a sample that contains buffer, but no protein or lysate in it. Because plastic cuvettes tend to absorb a lot of light, it's a good idea to use quartz cuvettes whenever possible. An exception is going to be the Bradford assay that uses Kumasi dye. Kumasi tends to be very sticky, so it's a good idea to have a cuvette that you can easily dispose of. If your lab has access to a microplate reader, you may want to consider performing your protein assay on a plate instead of a cuvette. That's going to reduce the amount of samples or the volume of the samples that you have to use, and it's also going to increase the throughput of your assay, reducing the time that you have to dedicate to it. However, because of light diffraction and the smaller volume of your sample, it may compromise accuracy and sensitivity. Now, it's going to be extremely important that with each assay, you run a standard curve. For a standard curve, multiple samples with known protein concentrations are prepared and then measured in a spectrophotometer with technical replicates. These samples are called standards. After the technical replicates have been averaged, the absorbance value of the standards have their background subtracted. Those values are then plotted in a graph where absorbance is present on the y-axis and protein concentration on the x-axis. This graph is the standard curve, which is then used to interpolate the protein concentration of your unknowns. For more information on how to select a protein for your standard curve, please refer to the best practices lesson of this course. If you want more information on how to plot the standard curve, as well as on how to perform data analysis, please refer to the BCA workflow course of LambdaU.